The following events were recorded as they happened at the Hospital for Sick Children in Toronto. On this episode of Life's Little Miracles, Shannon's arthritis and Vishal's transformation. Vishal is three years old and was born with a cleft lip and palate. He also has a hole in his heart, which has delayed his physical development. Vishal and his mother have traveled to Toronto from their home in Guyana, with support from the hospital's Herbie Fund and the local Guyanese community. Can you go like this? Are you happy you're here? Of course. Of course. I just want my son to be okay. You want your son. Doctors plan to repair Vishal's heart first, then close his lip and palate. Today, he will have testing to ensure that he is healthy enough to endure the surgeries. I want you to be very strong, Vishal, because when he goes through all these appointments, he's going to look to your face to make sure he's, he's okay. Don't, don't, don't be scared. You're in very, very good hands, Shazzy. You're in very good hands. Basically, why we're interested in looking at your son's teeth is we want to make sure that there's no cavities uh, or no, no sources of any dental infection because with teeth that are infected, the infection can track down into the heart and cause bigger problems for your son. And because he already has a heart problem, we don't want to jeopardize his cardiac status. So what we're going to do is take a look at his teeth. At least four deep cavities in his teeth. As a result of that, they're, they're setting the, the tooth up for an infection. So you'd want to treat that before any extensive cardiac surgery would take place. Yeah. That's very important. Yeah. So it's a good thing that you came here to our dental office because yeah. this is important. Yeah. This has to be treated. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yeah. Three-year-old Shannon has been diagnosed with juvenile arthritis. Her joints have become stiff and swollen, making it difficult for her to walk. Today, Shannon will undergo joint injections that doctors hope will restore her mobility and ease her pain. And it's still hurting? Yeah. And you're gonna show her which one hurt? Which one? This one hurts? Remember, you get stickers the last time? Candy too? You want candy? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Yeah, I can Candy? Well, after you finished. I'm Dr. Feldman, Brian Feldman. Oh, hi, Sharon. Hello, Hello. Marla, pleased to meet you. Do you guys want to have a seat here? We can okay. talk. Um, has she had injections before? Um, this is our first time. The first time? Yeah. Let me have a look right now. We'll see. Let's look at your knee. Yeah, I can see why they want to put a cast on there because she is a little bit contracted and bent. Yeah. She's quite swollen. Okay. Does that hurt, sweetie? Maybe a little bit. Now, Dr. Cameron's written down here that she'd like me to inject uh, Shannon's right wrist, both her ankles, and her right knee. Does that sound correct yeah. to you? Shannon's going to come into the uh, procedure room over there and she'll be put to sleep. Mm -hmm. What we'll do when she's asleep is we'll inject in a medicine that's a very long-lasting form of cortisone called triamcinolone hexacetonide. Okay? Very uh, long name. Right. But it's a very long-lasting form of cortisone, essentially. Now, the only potential serious side effect, as you know, we all have germs crawling around our skin all the time. There's germs in the air. And it's theoretically possible that on the tip of our needle, we could take one of those germs and put it inside her joint. Mm -hmm. And if a germ got inside her joint, it could cause an infection in the joint. It would give her a red, hot, swollen joint. She'd have a fever. She'd be miserable. Mm -hmm. And if it wasn't treated right away, it could result in permanent damage to the joint. I'll be looking after Michelle's teeth today, okay? Yeah. There are two or three teeth that we might have to take out. Did you know that? Mm. Yes, okay. Um, 
With the, uh, the heart problem, it's important that we not leave any infected teeth behind. That can affect uh, the outcome of the heart surgery. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh. Can I say bye-bye, Mom? See you soon? Yeah, that's good. We'll take good care, OK? This child has a fairly small mouth, and also with the age, it's uh, not a lot of working room. And typically, we'd put the rubber dam on all the uh, teeth, but this is a physical impossibility in this case. How did they feed him? He must have had some really special adaptations on his bottle. I'm otherwise... sure it was very, very difficult at a young age in making a seal for a suckling. I think the mother has done a tremendous job in raising this child with this sort of uh, defect. Are you going to have to pull those front teeth? No, they'll be left. Uh, they are important structures. They help maintain the, uh, the bone integrity in the area. And, uh, my assumption is they really want this structure to stay in place. I'm going to have to take out these three molars. They are beyond restoration. So then you're going to get all the way uh, Oh, you're going to lose your card. They have it. Well, Shannon, Already. let's Already. go see Elmo. Have her back out to you in about 20 minutes. Bye. Be good, girl, okay? Okay. Love you. 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 After we finish, she's tired too. I think she's off to sleep there you now. Go. Wonderful. There. Thank you. Okay. Here's going to be the difficult one. That knuckle. That's what six joints will do, right? Yeah. Six or seven more joints. While they're doing the other joints, I can do the, yeah. You can help me just hold her foot. Are you doing a mold for the cast? No, actually, we just throw a plaster cast on now for about 48 hours, and it gives them a good stretch and good rest post-injection, and we don't splint nearly as often now. Let's try The three little fingers. So we'll just proceed with removal of that tooth. Forceps on the tooth, cleanly. Okay, this is the tooth here. And if one of you can level off that bed too. The shell's in recovery now, and all's well. Uh, we did have to remove three baby teeth. All three were infected. We also repaired the upper left tooth here. You'll see there's a stainless steel crown in place. In the areas where I took out the teeth, I put in some stitches. They will dissolve away in about a week. Uh, do you have any questions? Like how you remove the teeth? Would yes. it bleed? Would the gum sh bleed? It's not bleeding now. It might start bleeding a little bit uh, when he has something to eat. Don't be bothered by that. Just some steady pressure with a clean Kleenex on the end of your finger will stop it. All right, okay. good. Okay. Nice Thank you very much. Thank you nice very much. Bye-bye. There we go. You can put your step down on the floor there, and then you can hold it. That's better. There we go. <laughs> nice and cozy. Oh dear. She had this 
fingers Just, injected. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. She also had this finger right here injected. Okay. And then the rest of it's just right. tape because when we had the IV started, we had to take the ta some of the tape off, oh, and we wanted okay. to make sure it wasn't the IV wasn't going to fall out because she was okay. getting her medication through that as well mm -hmm. oh. to keep her sleeping. <laughs> so that's why she has so much tape on here. Yeah. Okay, you ready? Get it! Get it! Get it! Get, get them! It. Ooh. Oh, you got it! Oh. <laughs> Take the towel, put it right here. You're gonna give it a great big hug. Real big hug. Okay? <coughs> now it's your turn. Can you give a big hug? Oh, very good. <coughs> cough now. Cough for mama here. Cough. <laughs> We're so close. <laughs> if you can get him to start playing with the bubbles and trying anything that you can to take deeper breaths, Cheryl, who you met from Child Life, we were thinking about maybe even getting some feathers. And if you put the feathers in your hands, <laughs> You're back! <laughs> the only thing I'd like to do then is just have a quick listen to his lungs now before, just so we know what they're like. Do you like that? Do you want to listen after? Okay, I'll let yeah. you listen. <laughs> now you cough. Good cough! That was very good! Can you hear it? So you know that you're son has a hole in the heart? Yeah. Yeah. On Thursday this week, yeah. he's scheduled for, for operation, for the clo uh, closure of the hole in the heart. Yeah. And that's a fairly straightforward operation. Uh, nothing is without any risks with, uh, I mean, when you deal with a heart defect that has to be operated on. And there is no such thing as a procedure without any risks of either dying or having a major complication kind of guarantee you a fortunate outcome. Mm. It'll be, since you will be alone with them, it'll be a little bit tougher for you than maybe for someone else. Feel better? Yeah, so you can play, right? Once she eats, you can certainly take her home. Yeah. But you got the cast instructions just to keep this dry. Mm -hmm. Just touch her toes every once in a while when she's up, just to make sure that they're nice and warm. Okay, oh. and that this isn't too tight. You can have a towel and all. Daddy, um, you can it. And squeeze it. Happy, happy it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Silly daddies, eh? <laughs> I bet she must have a very clean bedroom at oh, home. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you want to say bye to the nurse? Bye. Bye. See you later. See you Monday. Okay. Have a very nice Christmas. Are you about ready, Dolly Jane? Yeah. This will take about four and a half hours, maybe a bit longer. Okay. The operation? Yeah, and Dr. Coles will come and talk to you at the end. I just want to take good care of him. We will. Very good care of you. All right. Good boy. Mama will see you later. All right, Slim, up you come. I guess you don't want your PJ top, do you? Ah. Bye. Say bye. Bye bye. Say bye. bye. Feel free, Heather. Uh, I'll get the guys. Careful. Starting. You're in. Oh, we're just opening the sternum now, so. Yeah. Take your incision right down to it. Let's see how this looks. It's a big heart. Venus line is open. It's got a 30 <laughs> That looks like it's ready to come off on its own, sliding down there. Where's it, Beefy?
That sounds like that... it. Oh, wow. Who signed so it? So, would you like to keep your cast then when we cut it off? Would you like to take it home? Good morning. I'm the cast lady. <laughs> I'm going to take your cast off for you. <laughs> Have you ever had one off before? It's very noisy, but it doesn't hurt. It won't hurt. great so far oh yeah that's perfect yeah. movement yeah <laughs> no fluid before yeah perfect movement if we certainly move down to our ankles they are lots better you remember how yeah, puffy they were yeah we can start to see some ankle bones again which is nice and this is what I'm most happy about because she probably rested lacking mm -hmm. a good 30 or 35 degrees of full straightening and now if I was to do a quick guess she would be you know about eight degrees so that looks much better. <laughs> Very good. She's been using the foot a lot. Now She's, to go she up actually the alternated nicely coming yeah. up there. I'm surprised she used both sides. So it's <laughs> nice to see. It's going to be nice and warm. Are you ready? Very nice. But you can tell it's certainly not sore for her anymore. I mean, she really no. yeah, likes to stretch it very well. Yeah. Where's your leg? Jump. Very good. Yeah. Wow. That's good jumping. Nice. We're just trying to visualize the margins of the VSD. It's a little bit of an inaccessible area. You bring your patch up into here. Yeah, I think I bring it right into there. This is a Dacron patch used to close the, uh, the VSD. Uh, no, I think that's fine. We're just tying the patch in, that's right. Yeah. Make sure that that's tight, the suture is tight. And then we're going to close the aorta. Looks okay. Yep. Okay. The heart's beating spontaneously in a normal sinus rhythm which is one of the things we look for. Quite pleased with the function of the heart. The post-operative assessment on the echocardiogram looked quite good. Great, well, good news. You can relax, everything went fine, and your baby's doing fine now. So I was quite pleased with the way things went. We closed the hole off, and that went quite well. The, the key thing in the next few hours will be to monitor the function of the heart, make sure there's no bleeding, uh, and things like that. But longer term, we will need to communicate with, with the physicians in Guyana. Thank you very okay. much. Thank you. Good. Thank you very much. Okay. Maya, good to see you. So what do you think? How do you think she's doing? Um, she's doing, doing pretty good. Um, I see a lot of improvement in her. And this is the knee that was out completely before. Yeah. The joint injections have done tremendously yeah. well. I mean, she looks so much better. But, you know, we still have, our, our goal is to get her as perfect as we can get her. Um, well, the medication that she's going to go on, would she be on it for a long time, period of time? For some children, we're talking months. For many children, in all honesty, we're talking years. Only Shannon's response will tell us, meaning already she's improved so dramatically, and that's a very good sign for me. All right. Thank you very much. Oh, you're welcome. Very sweet of you. Now that Shannon has undergone joint injections and physiotherapy, her mobility is restored, and she is experiencing less pain. Shannon is once again able to enjoy the active life of a three-year-old. Let's go. That one? Yes. Okay, looks as if they're finished. You want to come by and then? Okay, so. Okay. He's done really well. Doctors are really happy with him. Okay. We'll just put the side down and you can put them up. 
Okay. Do you want to have a look? I just covered it up. That's okay, that's pull this in. So here's the sun, it's just small. Okay, and there's no stitches there. Okay, and these are the pacing wires. Okay, and we put them in all the children. Thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. You've done really well. The doctors are really pleased with you. Vishal now faces a challenging recovery. He will be closely monitored for signs that his heart surgery has been a success. It could be some time before he is strong enough to endure the operation to repair his cleft lip and palate, and he and his mother can return home to Guyana. On the next episode of Life's Little Miracles, Danielle's scoliosis and Vishal's transformation continues. <laughs>